All right, are you a recent high school grad, a college student, um, or are you a parent with kids that just got out of high school and you are looking to build your credit score? Uh, here's what I've done. I've got a graduating kid going into college and they don't have to be going into college. They could just graduate high school and if they have some kind of part-time job or job now, they can go ahead and try this. I found this has worked for me. What is it? Go to some of these credit card companies. I'm going to use Capital One because this is what I've done is uh, just look for student credit cards, right? And in this case, you can look right here. They have a page just for it. And uh, you can go ahead. You can read this right here. Explore student credit cards. With student credit cards, you can build your credit with responsible use and earn rewards. True. See what cards you're eligible for with no impact to your credit score. So what I did, I had my kid go out. We applied. They asked for a lot of information. They asked for um, uh, pay stubs, W-2 mainly W-2 driver's license as well. A few documents, we submitted them online. Capital One made it easy. Uh, they said, okay, we got all your documents. A week later, uh, the kid was approved. And then a week after that or so, 10 days maybe, I received the visa card. Uh, it has a small limit on it, 300 bucks, but still, it is a start. You gotta start somewhere. The stupid whole credit score, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. It, but it's a game. You play the game. In this world, there are games. You just gotta, you just gotta play them. Because if you try to fight them, you're gonna get nowhere. So play the game. Got the card, three hundred bucks. And what was good about this card, we got. Um, it's a Quicksilver, uh, Quicksilver Rewards for students, which is this one right here. We got, we got it for uh, the kid for this one. You get one point five percent back. And what we also received is uh, there was a promotion. Uh, it was a $50 bonus. So once we paid uh, our first bill on purchases, we got $50 credit. So it was kind of sweet right off the bat. Where else can you get 50 bucks like that immediately? And it was uh, credit to the account. It worked really well. So what do I do? The secret though is with 300 bucks, do not let your kid use it, you manage it. So what I've done, I took the card, it's her card with a $300 limit. I have a monthly bill on some, um, say yard work, right? It's half of the balance, so it's 150 bucks a month for stuff I have people do. So what I do is I pay that monthly bill using the kid's credit card, Knowing it's only 300 bucks, you can't really do much with that, right? And you don't want your kid to have that card. They might overcharge or it, it just may not be, go well. You may just be maxing out the card too much and it won't help the credit score for your kid. So I do half each month, 150 bucks, boom, boom, boom. It's been a few months now, about six months, right? And it's working really well. What you also have to do from day one is set up automatic payments. You want to make sure you do not miss any payments. The point here, the goal here is to build good credit history, good credit score, not overcharging the max on the card. In this case, 300 bucks. If I keep charging 299 each month, you're kind of, there's a ratio, right? You're just maxing out your credit, even though you're paying it. It just go with half. It's a, it's a nice safe, safe zone for your credit history. So each month I pay on time with the credit card. I do automatic payments from my account. There's funds there. I don't miss a payment and I just keep doing that. I'm going to keep doing that. I have the card. I'm not giving it to the kid. The goal is to build the credit score, credit history. So in a year, hopefully the credit score keeps going up and then the balance will go up as well from 300 to maybe 500 to a thousand bucks. And then maybe by the time the kid gets out of school, you turn the card over to them, let them have it physically so they can use it. And then you're off to the races. You're a kid, you're an adult now, you got out of high school. I helped you build your credit over a year or so and uh, go forth and do great things and be responsible with your money. Don't buy things you can't afford and uh, pay your bills on time. And that's the secret with these credit cards. Do not miss any payments and try to pay it off. Try, not try, do 
and Yoda do pay your balance off each month. That's the pro tip to building your credit. All right, hope this helps. Go check out Capital One uh, for students. And again, they just ask for some information and it takes a couple weeks to get going. Oh, here it is. I earned a one-time $50 cash bonus bonus once uh, there was a $100 spend on purchases within three months from account opening. That is not a bad deal, right? That is not a bad deal. And look at this, you want a $0 annual fee. That is also very good. Uh, look at this, perfect. And in my situation, the kid had a job. They were making money working in addition while they were going to school. So not too bad. So there you go, pro tip, check this out. I think this is one of the better ones. My experience is it was streamlined. It was uh, easy to do. It just took some time. You know, like I said, once you submit the documents, they do go, they go through the approval process. And then once they say you're good to go, and then you wait 10 days or so to get the card and then you're off to the races. All right. Pro tip. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, it's working really well for us.